say to your left. Um, during this 22 game winning streak, it was a, it pointed out that only three times have been this uh, final score have been decided by single digits. So in those close games, how important is that come later in the year or another time when things are close and you learn from those tight situations? Um, I think it's really important. Um, I think especially with the game last year against Missouri, we learned a lot about our team and just learned how we'd respond when things get tough and we figured that out early this year, which I think is really good thing. Of course, you don't really want that to happen. You want to go in there and execute like you think you should, but uh, sometimes things don't go to plan and you figure out what your team's made of. And I think we found out some pretty good things about us in the past couple weeks. Yeah, Tate, I think you guys had zero pre-snap penalties on the road this week. What, what was the key to just being in tune this week? Um, just having crowd noise blared at us all week. Um, we got definitely got prepared for that. Um, worked in every period that we did offensive work. We, we had crowd noise playing, so I think that really prepared us for it and just getting Carson loud and us being able to actually pick out that clap there with everything going on. Following up an earlier question about you know tough, tough situations, what have you seen from Carson both you know in the huddle and like in the second half last last week? How's he responding? How's he speaking to you guys? Uh, I've seen a, re a lot of resiliency from him. Um, just when things aren't necessarily going our way on offense, uh, he, he's always uplifting, always encouraging, never never really changes, just keeps a level head and tries to tries to help us push through that with him. Yeah, with this Kentucky team having a physical front with what they've done, does that, you know, playing a team like Kentucky knowing it's going to have to be a grinded out sort of game, does that as an offensive line maybe excite you a little bit more? Um, I, I think if you're playing an offensive line and it doesn't excite you, then there's something wrong with you. But Kentucky, uh, we've we've said this since we've been here. It's always been one, it's always one of the more physical games of the year, and we go into that every year expecting it. They always have a hard nosed football team, and, and they come to play. Tate, uh, similar question on Carson, but more specific, I guess. The reaction you throws an interception, then all of a sudden you guys are down two scores. What was what was he like after that? What was his reaction to that? Um, I think like everybody's a little bit down, but I think as an offense, we did a good job of help lifting him back up to where he was and um, getting him in the mindset to go back out there and, and like it never happened. And I think that's what is really good about this team is we are really good at sticking together when things aren't going well. And I think um, with uh, how we performed in the first half and that, that kind of helps us a lot. Hey, you guys have had a few weeks now with the new lineup with Trust out at right tackle mm -hmm. and Dylan in the lineup. How would you assess how this offensive line has played since then, and what areas do you want to see improve? Um, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I definitely want to see improvement in the run game. Um, I'm going to take ownership for that. I haven't played up to my standard or our standard. Um, I think that's just across the board. Is we've got to go out there with the mindset still that we want to that we're going to run the ball and. Um, not let different things affect us with running the ball. So um, that's one thing I'd like to see improvement of. But I think we've definitely meshed together better with the past couple weeks of practice. Uh, with Trust first going out there, was there was, of course, uh, bumps for him to go over. But I think he's done a really good job of getting over that. And I think Dylan's really stepped up. Tate, when you look at the Kentucky defensive line, you see number zero standing there at the end. What you kind of get up? Jordan Davis vibe when you look at him. Yes, he's a he's a physical, twitchy football player. He's, he's a really good player. Um, from what I've seen, I've got a lot of respect for him. He he can he can play ball. Tate, you talk about adjustments. How, how much of this would you say is mental for offensive line? Um, I think a lot of it. Um, I think uh, it's mindset. Just I think all of it's mental, really. Um, I think just going out there and acting like. We've played in the past, just like nothing's changed, just trying to go out there and just play to our ability like we know we can. You seem pretty upset about the, the improvements in the run game. I guess when, when you're falling off a block, or if that is the case, well, what causes that? And uh, this particular Kentucky football team, just their physicality alone, you said it's a brand of football. What about them makes them so physical? Uh, they they strike blocks. They're they're really good. Come they come out of their hips off the, on the line. Um, they're they've never they, from watching them. They don't shy away from contact. Um, but like you said, falling off blocks, it always it usually comes down to bad hands and bad feet. And 
that's something I personally need to work on right now and uh, got to get that cleaned up before this week. But yes, they have a really physical football team up front. They strike blocks and um, they're a straightforward football team. Hey, Tim, I know you're wearing a boot, but what part of the analytics data helps you? Uh, what are some things you look for, whether it's sleep, training? I'm just curious why and how did you take advantage of that? Uh, I like to see the, the strain every day and then it helps me with my sleep schedule, which not always on top of, but I try my best to be, but I think the, the sleep part and the recovery helps me the most. You guys are averaging 330 yards a game passing. Did, did you expect that that would kind of be uh, the, the way this offense would uh, you know, move the ball uh, to success? Um, I knew we had playmakers and I knew we'd find out a way to get to them. Um, I, I, I thought we'd end up being explosive in the pass game. I, I thought we'd end up having a pretty good offense. Um, but yeah, I did expect that because we have playmakers and we've gotten the ball to them. Talk to me about the difference playing with Xavier beside you versus Americans. Uh, Mems plays like a six-eight human with really long arms. So me and Truss are passing off twists. I'm usually expecting Mems to be farther away, but, but Truss is always closer. So we get our we get our feet tangled up every now and then. But that's the, probably the biggest difference. And uh, I think with everybody, it's just knowing how they're going to play certain looks. Like I I've been playing next to Mems since. Lord forever almost, and I know how he's going to react to certain looks, and me and Truss are now just starting to get that that feeling together with with both of us. So, when did you know Bowers was kind of a different dude, and, and does he ever do anything that surprises you still? Uh, I think he does something every day that surprises me. He's just like, it's just he's got that it factor. Uh, when I knew he was special was his first year here. We were we were doing a uh, summer conditioning. I watched him with all the tight ends, and he's five, six yards in front of everybody. And I think that's kind of the point where everybody's like, okay, this, this kid's gonna be something special. And he's been nothing short of that since. Michael Morris has been seeing more snaps on a weekly basis. What is it about him that's earned more spots in the rotation? Um, I think he's gotten more consistent. He's a very, very strong human. Um, he can move people extremely well. And I think just him showing that consistency every weekend, week in and week out, has gotten him on the field and gotten him trust. And he's he's a really good player too, so that that, that helps him out. Going back to that Auburn game, when you guys were running into the boundary by the, by the left side, sometimes you pull, sometimes you didn't. What was what did you see going back on the film that made that so effective? And can you do it again this Saturday? Um, I think just perimeter blocking in general, pinning, uh, setting walls on the edge. And then um, scheming it up right with formations to get the right number amount of people to block. That, that's what it looked like to me. And then everybody executing. Um, really, I think if we execute, we got a chance to any play, but we just happen to execute really well on those. Any more questions for Tate? Okay, Tate, thank you. Thanks, Tate. Thank you. Thank you.